Hi, Rob Reiner here. Tonight's film, entitled The Vase Shop, is one of the earliest and most primitive Morton and Hayes films. You'll notice the opening sequence seems very much like an old vaudeville routine. In fact, it was. Oftentimes, Morton and Hayes would work their proven material, which they perfected over years of performances in front of live audiences, into their films. Tonight's film opens with the now famous donut bit which was last performed by Morton and Hayes on the Glen Campbell Good Time Hour in 1968. It was also the last time that they ever appeared in public. That was over 20 years ago. But if you stay tuned, after tonight's episode, we have a special treat in store for you. So until then, sit back and enjoy Chick Morton and Eddie Hayes in the vase shop. Donuts, get your fresh donuts. Fresh donuts, get your fresh donuts. Hey, we got hot fresh donuts. Hey, we got hot fresh donuts. Eddie, what are you doing? Eating the merchandise? Don't do that. Fresh donuts. Now, what are you doing? I'm putting it back. I'm putting it back. You're putting back half a donut? Well, you said that Nobody I. Nobody wants to eat half a donut. I just did. Yeah. Well, then eat the other half. Whatever you say, Chick. Hey, fresh donuts. Hey, hey boys. Well, good morning, Mr. Nicolaitis. Usual, Mr. Nicolaitis? Sure, boys. Oh, let me give you a little business advice. When you sell in bulk, always knock a few pennies off the price. Why would we do that? Well, it makes it more attractive to the customer if he's buying more than one donut. For instance, if he's buying a dozen donuts, he should get a discount. That way, you keep the product moving. My phone! Thanks a lot, Mr. Nicolaitis. Well, check, that's pretty good advice. You know, the man's right. We're overpricing our products. I gotta think of something. Hey, knock a penny off the price of a baker's dozen. You sure, Chick? A penny goes an awful long way nowadays. You heard the man. When you sell in bulk, you gotta slash the prices. Now knock that penny off. One penny coming right off. Now, how could anybody pass up a deal like that? Oh, uh, wait a minute, Chick. Huh? Why would anybody pay 12 cents for a dozen donuts when they can get a baker's dozen for the same price? You know, you got something there. Knock a penny off the price of a dozen donuts. But, Chick... You wanna sell the product, don't you? Oh, well, sure I do. And knock that penny off. Knocking that penny right off here. Who wouldn't wanna buy donuts at these prices? Now, wait. If a dozen donuts cost 11 cents, that means a half dozen donuts cost five and a half cents. So? So, how are you going to collect a half a cent? Round it off. What? Round it off. Rounding it off. Five cents for a half dozen donuts. Wait a minute. Five cents for six donuts. That means each donut costs less than a penny. What do we do when it costs less than a penny? Well, we round it off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, how does it look to you? Looks pretty good, Chick. Oh, it looks good. It's sound business. Hey, fresh donut! Hey, fresh donut! Fresh donut! Well, good morning, Officer Rafferty. Boys, I need a lot of donuts. The missus and me are hosting a card party. Sure, how many do you need? Yeah, give me a dozen. One dozen donuts. Come around up. That'll be 11 cents. But if you want to save some money, you should buy two half dozens. That way, it'll only cost you 10 cents. Hey, that's a great idea. Give me two half dozens. Two half dozen coming right up. Now, if you really want to save money, you should buy one at a time. Eh, you're right. That way it wouldn't cost me anything. That's not exactly how it works. Well, that's what it says right there on your sign. I know that. Eh, what are you trying to do? Cheat me? Uh, eh? Not at all. Oh, false advertising then. Eh? You got it all wrong. I got a good mind to run the body of sin. All right, all right. How many you want? How many you got? 39. I'll take them all. Coming right up. One at a time. One. Two. One at a time. You happy now? At least we moved the product. Oh, boys. May I see you for a moment? Fellas, I wonder if you'd do me a favor and watch the store for me. I gotta get down to the pharmacy to pick up some Ipecac. Well, why don't you just close the shop until you get back? Close the shop? <laughs> I'll tell you why. Twelve years ago to this very day, I took the afternoon off to attend my dear mother-in-law's funeral. And when I got back, I found a note saying, you missed the sale of your life. I was here looking for a special, priceless vase, but you weren't here! Signed, John D. Rockenfuss. A millionaire? 
the very same. And ever since that day, I have never closed the shop. Well, we'll watch the shop for you, Miss Nicolaitis. Don't worry. Thanks, boys. I knew I could count on you. Oh, and I'll only be gone ten minutes. But remember, be careful. These vases aren't donuts. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I could borrow your bicycle. Sure, go right ahead. Thanks, fellas. Boy, Mr. Nicolaitis sure has a nice shop, doesn't he? Yeah, look at all these beautiful things. Hey, you never know. Maybe someday we'll be able to get some of these things. Oh, you think so, Chick? Oh, a couple of smart guys like us, we could be tight Oh, well, I hope so. Oh, look at this, Chick. Huh? This is swell. What's the matter with you? Put that down. You know how many donuts we'd have to sell if you busted one of those? Yeah, especially at the new prices. Chick? Chick? Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. You gotta help me. What's up, sis? I got a job interview in five minutes, and I need someone to watch Rollo for me. Eh, uh, I'm not sure we can do that. Oh, thanks, Chick. I knew you'd help. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Hey, come here. Oh, wait. Eddie, this is my nephew, Rollo. How you doing, Rollo? Never felt better. He's, uh, having his tonsils taken out pretty soon, aren't you, kid? You bet. Come here, you. Now, listen to me. I want you to sit here on this counter and don't touch a single thing in the shop, you understand? Yes, sir, Uncle Jake. Don't touch anything. Okie dokie. You can look all you want, but we're not buying anything! You weren't such a sourpuss! <gasps> oh, look! A genuine tea service from the 18th century! I said nix on that stuff! Don't be a penny pitcher! You'll go to your grave with every nickel you ever... You to stay up here, take off those skates, and finish your homework. Ah, nuts. This kid's pituitary glands just won't stop pituing. I want to buy it! Oh, no, you don't. I'm getting it! Over my dead body! Hey. Now we're going back home so you can cook me dinner. You can cook your own dinner. You come back here! Did you hear me? I said come back here! Uncle Jack, look here. <laughs> Roll out! What are you doing up there? Get down. Ah, uh, I was just having some fun. Well, you were, huh? Well, go have fun over there. Finish your homework. You, Pop, I want you to meet. Say, where's my dad? Well, he'll be back in a few minutes. We're just watching the shop for him. Oh, well, I'm Betty Nicolaides, and this is my new dance partner, Spat. We're gonna cut a rug at the USO tonight, and I need some moolah. Hey, Spat, let's show these squares a little beat me daddy ate to the bar.
horizon. Tell Dad we just stopped by to say hi. Maybe we ought to close up the shop and get out of here, Chick. I'm with you, pal. Not so fast! I'm gonna do a little free shopping. So start putting them faces in that sack. Oh, but you don't understand. This isn't even our shop. Yeah? Well, it's not mine either. So you shouldn't mind it if I help myself. <laughs> you ain't me! Come on! Start putting them faces in that sack, or I shoot the dopey looking one. Oh, please, Mr. Gunman, don't shoot my buddy, Chick. He's the only friend I got in the world. And besides... Hey, well, he's talking about you. But he said the dopey looking one. Come on, come on! <laughs> Chick, the gun! <laughs> No more funny stuff. Put your hands up. Him, but I promise I'll buy you someday. Come on, you. Hi, Chick. Hope Rollo wasn't any trouble. Say, what's all this? Rollo could have gotten hurt. Well, that's the last time I leave him with you. Come on, honey. It's a beautiful day for a walk. Why, I... My shop! My vases! Mr. Nicolaitis! Mr. Nicolaitis! Boys! Oh, boys! I had a terrible dream! I dreamt my shop was ruined! I... Oh, Mr. Nicolaitis! Try to get him up. I'll get a chair. Get up, Mr. Nicolaitis! Come on! You can do it. Get up! Oh, 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 come on. Oh, you did me bad, boys. My insurance won't cover a tenth of this. <laughs> oh, look at it this way, Mr. Nicolaitis. You've still got this. That, that's nothing. That's a outrung dwarf vase. I've been trying to unload this for 15 years. Oh, what's the use? <laughs> well, I think it's kind of cute. I'll give you 50 cents for it. <laughs> I'll give you $50,000 for it. 
Please, sir, let me explain. There are only six Hao Chun dwarf vases in the entire world. I own five of them. For the past 12 years, I've been searching all over the world for the last one to complete my collection. And now, now, my search is over. I hope you find my offer satisfactory. Hey, who are you, anywho? Oh, of course, how careless of me. My card. <laughs> You're Ginger? Go on, give me that. This is my card. And I'll thank you not to meddle in my private affairs. John D. Rockenfuss, the millionaire. Mr. Rockenfuss, you mean it? $50,000? I've never been more serious about anything in my life. Well, what do you say? Sold! Excellent. I have here a check made out of cash, which I've been carrying with me for 12 years. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boys. Oh, I don't know how to thank you. But to show my appreciation, you come around tomorrow and I'll buy a dozen donuts. You bet, Mr. Nicolaitis. That'll be 11 cents. But if you want to save some money, Eddie. you should buy two half dozen. That Eddie. way it'll only cost you 10 cents. Eddie. But if you really want to save money... Eddie! I hope you enjoyed tonight's show. As I promised, if you stay tuned right after these important messages, I'll be back with a visit from some very special guests. Earlier in the week, I got a call from the motion picture home in the San Fernando Valley. When I picked up the phone, I was delighted to hear the voice of Chick Morton on the other end of the line. Yes, he's still alive. It seems that Chick had been watching one of our broadcasts and just called to say how thrilled he was that we were reviving his old films. After we chatted for a while, I finally got up the nerve to ask him if he'd be willing to come down to the studio and make an appearance on the show. I was thrilled when he graciously agreed. So tonight, making his first public appearance in over 20 years, the remarkable Chick Morton. Mr. Here's Mor trouble. Oh, boy. Oh, gee. Mr. Oh, Morton, I'm sorry. are you all right? Yeah, yeah. You okay? I'm sorry. I'm trouble with reverse. Yeah. What they did is they put a new motor on here because I was having trouble with the hill. Yeah, cut it. You're going to cut it. I'm cutting. You're going to cut it. I'm cutting. There you go. Okay, there ah, you go. Better? Yeah, there you go. I appreciate the help. Now you're in. There, there you go. The motor, I was having trouble. Yeah, with hills. You heard about it? You know, you look great. Thank you. I mean, considering all you've been through. Well, I've had an eventful life. I'll say. I mean, I don't want to cast aspersions, but... Huh? Uh, it is a matter of public record that uh, when Max King Productions released you from your contract in 1948, your life did take somewhat of a downward turn. I don't particularly care for the word downward. I uh, prefer uh, adventuresome. I guess you could call four paternity suits adventuresome. The bout with alcoholism, the gambling, and the, well, the bad investments that led to your being jailed for income tax well, evasion. Now, just a second. That was a minimum security prison. It was yeah. like a club fed, we called it. Mm -hmm. uh, you said something about me dropping out of show business in 1968. Didn't yes. Well, I'd like to correct that, if I may. I appeared oh, in Hawaii Five-0. Oh, really? In the 70s. I didn't know. And, of course, you've done a... A number of commercials, I'm aware of that. That's right. And every product that I endorsed, I truly believed in myself. Oh, you use that Roach Resort. You're damn right I do. And the Ginsu knives? Yes, yes. And the uh, stain remover? Yeah, and the stain remover. And I listen to Zam Fear, the master of the pan flute, whenever possible, Mr. Doubter. I stand corrected. All right. And I'm glad you've been keeping busy all these years. That's just great. It's, uh... That's a good life, not good. Oh, watch hey, out. Wait, uh -oh. wait, wait. wait. Uh -oh. right. Come on back. All right. There we go. Got me? We almost lost you there for a second. <laughs> there you go. Ease that it new back motor. in. I'm having trouble. You know, I, I really am thrilled you're here because, you know, I have a big surprise for you. Tonight we have with us a man who, along with you, gave us hours of pleasure and laughter. Junior's here. That's right. Your partner for over 40 years, who you haven't seen in 20. Mr. Eddie Hayes. Where is that big tub hey, of money? <laughs> there he is. Hey, hey. Uh, Isn't this great? Uh, good to like see you. Buddy. So great. How are you? Nice Thank to you. meet you, Mr. Hayes. Thank it's a you, pleasure. Sir. My pleasure. I'm a big, please. big fan of yours. Oh, Eddie Thank you. Hayes. Have a seat. Have sit a seat. Down, sit, sit down. Sit down. Big surprise. Yes, you wore the uh, color of money today. Uh, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Where'd you get the cigar? Paul Bunyan send that over? No, Look at the size of that thing. Yeah. They had it chopped down in Yosemite. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look at that. They still have the timing. It's so great. Yeah. You guys, ah. now I know you, you haven't performed in over 20 years. Oh, and no, This no, is no, the no. first time you're seeing each other, but have you kept in any kind of contact well, over the years? I would call him, but, uh, you know. Yeah, like everybody has a phone. Well, I, I offered to put a phone in your yeah, room. He offers, like, I'm going to sit around from 9 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon. I'm not going to do I've got things to do. That's all right. That's all right. I understand. I, uh, I send him uh, Christmas cards yeah. and, and uh, birthday oh, cards. Nice. Uh, so you still have nice, warm feelings for each other, which is great. Oh, I mean, oh, sure. so oh, many of the comedy teams, you know, they, they've played for a long time, and then when they break up, there's a lot of acrimony between the two. There's a lot of jealousy and vindictiveness. No, and no, not with you guys, though. No, we love each other. We just yeah. haven't spoken in over 10 years. So so let's talk a little bit about, more about the early days of vaudeville. All right. Oh, what man. do you want to know? Uh, Morton and Hayes. Those are not your real names. No. Vincenzo Giacomelli. 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 And, and yours? Albert Mossberg. Albert yeah. Mossberg. Yeah. And then you started on the junior circuit in vaudeville. Yeah. Then we dabbled in a little, uh, magic. A little, oh, you uh, did a magic act? You had to well, do everything. You had yeah, to I know sing. the old days. You had to dance. Yeah, you had everything. to juggle. You had to, uh, get to the racetrack. <clears throat> Yeah. But he was, was a lot to do in those days. Busy. Do you remember the night? Pittsburgh was Pittsburgh, a great town. Pittsburgh. Well, I that, wanted to do the donut bit, which was a classic. We opened of ours. with it. We didn't know there was a boycott. Forty-eight uh, hours, two days, donuts. no donuts. So that must in the have been an angry city. crowd. Oh, vegetables. First time we ever encountered vegetables. Right. You mean they threw they vegetables threw at you? Vegetables. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And they were cooked. This was the problem. Yeah. Cooked vegetables. <laughs> So this is premeditated. Oh, this yeah. is my point. Yeah. 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 Oh, this yeah. is my point. Yeah, they came. If the vegetables were cooked, cooked, then it must have been premeditated. They yes. Yeah. Before so they, they left the house, they, they said. They knew you were going to do that donut yeah. pit. Put yeah. some more zucchini yeah. in the pot. Those fellows are going to pay. I know you guys could go on talking forever about the old days and reminiscing. And I'm, to be honest, I'm having a great time. And if you'd like to continue talking, we can. And, and if you all stay tuned next week, you can have more of the exclusive interview with Chick Morton and Eddie Hayes. But until next week, good night, everybody. And we'll see you again next week. Thank you. It's been great. Thank you. It's so, been great. Uh...